Greetings, mortals. Welcome into the drop spot. It's great to have you here, as always, talking all things Fortnite competitive. My name is Adam Savage. I'm currently up here on Mount Olympus, just living my best life, living the dream right now. But to break it all down, to break all the Fortnite competitive world down for you guys listening or watching at home, I've got two Adonises with me. It's Mini Miner and Takata. Fellas, I feel so good having you with me here on the show. It's great to see you here, as always. Uh, let me just ask you off the bat here, how the devil are you? Mini, how's life, baby? Life's good. Life's really good. Uh, hot off the back of a great major one, particularly on EU. Of course, you know, we were all involved in that show, so we'll talk about EU. Absolutely incredible ending to that season. Had a nice break, you know, done a few different bits and bobs, and now we've got a new Fortnite season, so very excited about that. Uh, unfortunately, I missed the memo about getting a uh, getting a nice background above uh, Mount Olympus, unfortunately, <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's got a plain hey, one today. Hey, but, hey, you know. Yeah. One, one, one day. It'll happen one day. One day. One day, Mini. Uh, how are you, How are you, Takara, as well? How's, how's life? I'm good. I also missed the memo, but I mean, new season, new <laughs> me, a lot of action. If it's close to as good as a season we had in the most recent one, I mean, I'm excited. We're always excited. That's the great thing about a new season is so many new things develop, happen, change up. It makes it it makes it a great you know a great bit of a bit of like almost like a movie for us all just sit back and watch and enjoy really our players are getting ready for a big season ahead too um let's talk about what we're, we're breaking down for you guys this evening we're talking about the new season of course we are uh, as mentioned by mini and takata uh uefn definitely want to touch on that too the future of competitive everything in creative mode is looking very very exciting indeed and of course the illustrious queers we love queers and uh you guys are gonna uh, join at, at home please do get involved as well with that quiz because um we love we love it i mean they 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 have faces on them right now mini and, and, and takata <laughs> like do we really enjoy it you definitely enjoy it don't no, don't don't start giving me any grief fellas <laughs> um but first things first let's just dive into chapter five season two and like kind of like we kind of picked up on the last uh, episode of the drop spot uh let's continue um into what is happening right now um first things first um Wings of Icarus are back in comp, and it feels great to have them back. Um, uh, how does that affect things, uh, Mini? Um, uh, kick us off. What, what, is, what do the mi wings mean uh, for our players out there at the moment? Yeah, we didn't have the wings in for a good amount of time. The wings are uh, the only mobility item, really, in the season. So it kind of gives players the only opportunity to get that easy mobility. I say easy, though, in kind of inverted commas, because it's very easy to get beamed out of the air with these as well. The hitbox <laughs> on these is quite large. Uh, you do fly quite slowly. You can dodge, which I've seen some players do, which is a really nice idea when you're trying to sort of maneuver through the, uh, the mid-games. It's an option. I don't think it's a necessity, and I think that's nice because it gives players options in in the end game in the mid game we have had seasons in the past even last season the grapple blade where it was kind of a uh, a necessity if you wanted to get a mobility item you had to go with the grapple uh, the grapple blade and you wanted to get that easy mobility that seemed like the the only option whereas now seems to have a few different options for players the wings of icarus back i like them uh, personally i don't know if i'd take them towards the later stage of the game but they can come in clutch yeah i mean i'm on mini's boat we've seen a lot of players just go into the standard flowberry for this mobility boost you can get or maybe if you can even get your hands on the Cerberus medallion that you can mm. get your dashes and those are incredibly strong especially if even if you're I mean playing duos you can split them back and forth but in terms of the wings of Icarus like many said you can get beamed you'll lose a lot of shields on your rotate I mean it, it can be fun it's cool but <laughs> I don't think it's going to be the most used mobility item especially in this meta that it, it, a great point great points lads I think I think it, personally I, I'm, I'm a fan although I cannot aim for Toffee. I am terrible <laughs> with the wings. I mean, I think I would go as far as classing myself as an embarrassment. Like I need to make a public apology to my family, I think, on, on, <laughs> on every social media platform. It's that bad. I need to work on it. Um, however, uh, you know, I totally hear what you're saying about the rotation aspect of things as well. Um, I've, got, I've had a, a fun idea. Let's, let's play a little game, okay? Let's, okay. Play, let's, Ooh, play, okay? let's play a game for a second here. I've been inspired. Um, right. Let's let's play. Let, let, let's think about loadouts. Of course, you know, we, you, you guys touched on like you know inventories and what everyone's bringing in to kind of like you know. Um, you, you guys both played round one of the solo cash cup. Um, so let's talk about five items and a medallion for your loadout, your preferred one. Okay, but there's a twist. Okay, um, you can't pick the same thing as each other. Okay, you oh. can't pick the same thing. Mm. You got to change it up. Okay, and what we'll do is we'll start with Takata first. Give me one item, and then Mini's gonna give me two. You go back and forth until Ooh. Takata's got one left at the end. We'll try and get different loadouts and what you have to use, okay, to take into your, take into every one of your kind of like competitive matchups, okay? So kickstart us off Takata. <laughs> what would you bring in first and foremost? What has to be in your loadout? All right, look, if I'm thinking solo cash cup, I'm not gonna pick a weapon first here. I'm gonna pick something mm. that's a lot more difficult to get. 
specifically at the grim gate you know you could say from a boss that might have the name cerberus so i'm gonna go with that medallion that gives you the dashes that gives you the mobility boost it's good for playing aggressive it's good for rotating the late game so that is going to be a must-have in my loadout naughty <laughs> yeah you see, you see uh, mini, mini you seem you're a bit like he beat me to it he well, beat was, me to it i was hoping he'd forget about it but he didn't forget <laughs> about that uh he managed to remember that that is by far the best medallion this season unlimited dashes throughout the whole game so yeah i can't take that anymore but as per these rules so i get two now right i get, get two two, get two two items okay you know what i'm gonna go i'm gonna make sure i have some ability I'm going to go for okay. the flow brief fizz. I'm going to, I'm going to get the flow brief fizz in my inventory. So a bit outlandish, I suppose you could say, because, you know, it's a heal, but I want to make sure I've got the mobility at least. I can't, I can't take both because I know what he's like and he will. So <laughs> okay. I'm going to go with that. I mean, I'm also going to go with a sniper. Uh, recently uh. buffed as well. So that's uh, very, very, very good, you know, for, for, for people that uh, do have the sniper. It's a little bit easier to snipe people with. A little bit more difficult to get, but seeing as this is a game, I'm going to have it in my inventory. So flow brief fizz and the sniper for me so far. Okay. All right, all right, okay. So, okay, now, now, obviously, you've got the medallion sorted out here, Takata, but kick us off with your items. You can't use the Phobia Frizz or the Sniper. What are you bringing in? Yeah, I need a lot of things. Uh, I need some shields. I need heals. I need weapons, right? So, mm -hmm. I believe in this most recent update, too, there's a new heal. So, you know, if we're thinking we can get anything, right? So, I can get as much of anything. I think those new bananas, right, that give you a slow HP and shield regeneration as well as a mobility okay. boost could come in handy or i could just get myself some chug splashes which wouldn't be too bad but i'm gonna weapon first i'm gonna go with the mythic war for warforged ar uh so i got an Sold. ar and then i think <laughs> i think i'm also gonna take i'm also gonna take a bunch of those bananas i'll take a full stack of those bananas yeah that's gonna okay. be my play all right i could i can see i while you're saying that, I can see Minnie's just there, kind of cracking his knuckles, going, "All right, he hasn't said this. Gonna say, <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to raise him this." Uh, I was hoping, what, I was hoping you wouldn't say what, this, right? What have I was you got hoping. in your locker? Ooh, Come on, ooh. what have you got in your locker? The gatekeeper shotgun. I was so That's happy to say it. This thing is That's crazy. It's one. so good. It's so so good. Uh, it only has a maximum of three shots usually, but you can get the uh, you know the attachment, uh, the drum mm. mag attachment, which actually ups it to five if you have some of the higher. I think if you have the gold version or the mythic. You gotta have the gold. Oh, one. you can't have the mythic uh, with an yeah. add-on. But you, if you have the gold version, you can add five shots into it. And of course, then it just becomes an absolute beast. It's so good from range. So for me, that'll be my next pick. Uh, and do I get another one here as well? Mm -hmm. You do, you do. do, you get you do yeah. What have I got? I've got Sniper. I've got Flowberry Fizz. I've got the Gatekeeper Shotgun. I'm going to go with... I'm going to leave the medallion to last because Takata can't get another medallion. I'm going to go <laughs> with... The considering I have a sniper, I don't necessarily need that 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 mid range assault rifle. I'm gonna go with the Thunderburst uh, SMG, which is okay. a really nice SMG. I see a lot of people using that, particularly in solos as well, because you just it's so good from all ranges. So I think I've got all bases covered there with my guns. That's fair. That's fair. Are you yeah. so you're more of the gold gatekeeper with the extended mag versus the mythic gatekeeper no extended mag which which side I, are you on, Mini? That's a tough debate. I I, I saw side it on socials on. Uh, earlier on this week. It's I uh, personally, yeah, I'm gonna go with the gold because I think the, the okay. upgrade on the on the damage and stuff is is nice for the the mythic. But at least I can customize it then. At least it's mine. It's not you know the the, the boss's uh, mythic. It's my weapon that I can actually have myself. That's, that's fair. fair. That's, that's fair. fair. Yeah, I'm him, so I don't need the gatekeeper. But I'll take the <laughs> either the hammer <laughs> pump or legendary frenzy. I mean, I am gonna be getting close and personal with that dash. I don't have an SMG. You know that's what, Mini? I think I'm. I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna go frenzy shotgun. I'm gonna go frenzy shotgun. He's really thinking about it. He's like, it's it's really, really weighing up. And then I'm gonna get some <laughs> chug splashes. I'm gonna get max chug splashes. Got my bananas. Got my chug splashes. Got my dash medallion. Got my mythic warfare AR. Mm -hmm. Bananas, chugs. Yeah, that's my full loadout, right? And I got my, yeah, so, yeah, my shotgun. Really. Well, you've got, you've got. I think you've, you've got. We've got one more left. You, you've got two, right? Mini has got, one, you've right? You've got a medallion and one item. And you've got one item yeah. left as well, Takata. So, Mini, what's your last item? What's your medallion? Uh, my last item is going to be big pots. Uh, we haven't said those, right? No, big pots. Oh, so that, that, you can, you know, they're, they're fantastic. You can, you know, move on them uh, while using them now as well. And my medallion is going to be, oh, it's actually quite a difficult one. Do I want, do I want Zeus's from the, for the, the mobility or do I want, you know what? I'm going to go for the aspect the of Siphon. I'm going to go okay. with the aspect of Siphon. I'm going to go with that one as my medallion. Oh. I, I do like it. It's nice, especially in solos, you know, in duos, not quite as crazy because yeah. both players can't have it, but I'm the only player on the team. So yeah, that's mine. 
Okay. So, so the, 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 the last item to use the card, we, we've utilized a lot. What, what What's the last one we haven't we haven't touched on, though? Well, I think I have. Don't I have, have five everything? right now? I have an AR, yeah, I have a oh, shotgun, you do? I have double heals. I got my banana and splashes. Medallion. Wait, I am You have one more item. I'm missing one more yeah. item. Yeah, you do. One more. Sniper rifle's gone. Mm hmm. Uh, it's hard, you know, isn't it? I'll, I'll just get. I have the frenzy, so I don't really need an SMG. Dang. Whatever. You know what? I'll just get a. I'll get a. Mythic Harbinger SMG. You know what? I'll get the Mythic loadout. Okay. It's not the okay. frenzy. It's not the burst. Mini's got the burst, but I'll get the fully auto SMG and I can get in some boxes with that in the frenzy. I'll take that. All right, all right. Do you, I mean, I mean, let us know. Let us know on socials. Would you rather have minis or Takata's loadout? I'd love to know. Is it is it is it is it team mini team Takata? Let us know. Uh, and also, I mean, we've got to talk about. I mean, medallions. We've we've chatted about loads here, fellas, as well. I mean, what this season? I mean, in terms of strategies and meta and such as well. I mean, how are medallions being used? I'm always really aware that on on the drop spot, you know, if you view, viewers listening or or, or you know or watching. Uh, there's there's new players as well as veteran players, but for those you know medallions and maybe unfamiliar, how are they how are they best being used right now, Mini? How are they kind of being used by by competitive players out there? Well, yeah, they're very different to last season. Last season, if you did play it, we had uh, five medallions that were all exactly the same. They just gave you HP and, of course, stacked based on how many uh, you had. But this time, they're actually each give you a different ability, a different type of uh, addition to your game that you can have. So uh, we've got the aspect of Siphon, which, is, of course, gives you that Siphon uh, on elimination. You've got the, the Dash one, of course, as well, which is Cerberus, I believe. Uh, we've got the Ares one, which is the aspect of Combat. So that one actually increases the amount of damage that your weapons do. And you've got the Zeus one as well well which kind of gives you a little bit of a speed boost a little bit of a bigger jump so there's definitely a, a great way that you can change up the way that you play your game based on your drop spot which i think is really really nice we haven't really seen that too much from players and, and seasons in the past where now teams if they need something and they need it as part of their game plan they have to go there i know on na at the moment as well peter bot he's a player that's wanting to champion that dash mythic he needs it they want it and so far this season they're performing very well with it so you can see the strategies already developed literally around the mythics yeah, yeah. And, you know takata when it comes to strats as well like is it better to play high high this season or low ground what would you kind of think is that is the preferred the preferred way of going about business i mean i think it's pretty similar to recent seasons the only like major changes sometimes you have in height is when we have like the caddy launcher or something and you'd be constantly getting dropped down from builds breaking but there's not as many items this season which will be destroying builds while you're on the high ground in that sense uh, you do have, you know, the danger of snipers, but I think we're going to have a similar ratio of height, low, mid-ground teams in terms of this season. Um, but yeah, like Mini said, in terms of the medallions, definitely the strongest one is the Cerebus dash medallion, especially seeing how you can split dashes between yeah. you and your duo partner in duos by just dropping it back and forth. Um, and the Zeus speed boost, you also get that from the bananas on the map, which can drop on floor spawns as well, so... You can have kind of a similar effect temporarily. So there, there's like some medallions that are semi useful, but there's also that, you know, like powerhouse one that a lot of teams are going to be battling for. But I mean, overall, we kind of have to see in these, you know, first finals tournaments that that we'll see yeah. shortly. I mean, the PS Cup is coming up. There's a lot of things coming. So I'm excited yeah. to see how these yeah. players kind of utilize these strats. I'm glad you said so. The PS Cup, literally the finals this weekend, will be the first chance to to see a a, bi a big one this season and a, a real big one, a bonanza, if you will, in uh, in Fortnite competitive. <laughs> um, what are you interested to see and learn during the final, fellas? I mean, I mean, Mini, what's what you know? Is it you know loadouts, rotation strats, what everything you know, with major two on the horizon? What 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 particularly piques your interest? I think just having any final set lobby format event is going to be great. You know, it's always exciting to watch. We have solos as well. And it's very rare in this current uh, sort of era of Fortnite and almost landscape of Fortnite to have uh, a solo set lobby final style uh, event. So that's what I'm particularly looking forward to is how do solos uh, adapt when it comes to a single lobby, 100 players in one lobby. Uh, PlayStation and, and console cups are always absolutely fantastic to watch. And I think something that I really like is not only do we have players 
artists that have sort of established a brand within the console space. Pixovsky is one that always comes to mind. You know, he's won multiple things in the past just specifically on the console. But also you have the PC players that come over yeah. to the console and just prove why they're so good. Malavuka won the uh, won the first opens uh, for the PlayStation Cup here on EU uh, in the build version. So it just shows that no matter what he can, what, what device he's on, he's still at the top of his game. So I think that just get, gives us another platform to, to sort of celebrate these players and celebrate maybe some new faces that are shining through as well. Yeah, I mean, taking home an FNCS and then starting off strong again on a console cup. I mean, yeah. what better way? <laughs> yeah. Byla, I think, yeah. as well as another PC player competing. Mm -hmm. But even the players who originally competed on console, like Yasiro's four console FNCS, I mean, champion, who switched over to PC now and competes on PC still with controller. But it's, uh, it's interesting to see how these players will perform, you know, going back to their roots and seeing kind of what they're capable of, especially with the new season and the new metas. Yeah, it's, it's a great, I guess, a great race test of strats as well, isn't it? Kind of thinking, you know, ahead to major two, great opportunity to kind of, you know, to jump in and, and test things out and see if it, if it is working in your favor, as you hope it will do, uh, come, the, come the big stuff. And the PS Cup, yeah, is it, the final's going to be amazing. Definitely make sure to put it in your calendar as well. Um, <laughs> the Rise of Midas tournament as well took place on Sunday, where mm. I think hundreds of thousands of players uh, took part, 6,000 of them as well, Mini. Uh, won the Midas bundle, which is uh, which is awesome. It's great to see the rewards being given out, um, whether it be monetary or kind of bundles like this. It's it, it's great to take part, and uh, six thousand people all, all the better off uh, with that uh, that cool package. Yeah, and these sort of events where you get nice rewards that isn't necessarily monetary, it's kind of like itemized loading screens, outfits, stuff like that. I love them. I absolutely love them. That being said, I didn't actually play in this cup because I wasn't <laughs> like, I was not I was Man, not home. Mini. Um Busy guy. I expect I expect more. I should have cancelled all plans, let's be honest. Who needs family, right? You know, the, the cup's <laughs> on. But no, uh, I, I always like to try and play in every single one. And I'm sure that this one would have been uh, no different in terms of the excitement that they bring. And what I love about them is it just allows players that are slightly new to comp to have that avenue into the competitive scene and get a little bit of a reward for it because you know you needed eight points to get the loading screen that's definitely doable that's definitely doable now well, what no matter what skill level you are you might see that and think oh it's a little bit daunting am i good enough you can do it a hundred percent so it's definitely worth trying out and if you see anything in the future in the pipeline that could be to do with maybe some outfit uh, cups and maybe some, some loading screen cups like that definitely get involved because i love seeing people playing them and they always get so many uh, players playing in them as well so it's always great for the community as a whole I like that. I like that. But how dare you not play in it, Mini? Look, I wasn't able to play in it either. But, Did you uh, play it? No? <laughs> we don't have to talk Might. about that, Mini Miner. I'd like to, to talk about it. Let's do a whole segment that. on whether Sakata played the cup. Did you? Look, my, what we do got to bring children. up is that if I did play... I would have got more points than you, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Honestly, my, my children heard what you said. They're in the background just crying their eyes out here. <laughs> they're just, they're so upset with you. <laughs> joking, obviously. But I think yeah, that's, that's the cool thing. I think I think you make really good points about like kind of like the, the cool kind of takeaways from this too. Like, you know, I, I've been watching a lot of stuff on socials recently about like some of the outfit collections that people have out there from like, you know, competing all these different things over the course of the last, you know, X amount of years. Um, and some of the things you think, Man, I'm never gonna get a chance to take that home again because it happened at that one that one particular moment in time that I could have obtained that kind of loading screen, or it might be. Um, and I love kind of th the throwbacks to looking at these things. And thinking, wow! Mm. So it's great that you know so many players managed to get this in the loading screens too, as you said, because uh, they can take it away with them, which is amazing. Um, I've got to ask you one thing before we kind of get onto the nitty gritty of like quizzes and such. Uh, you probably saw this recently. If you guys uh, saw this at home, you kind of like uh, you heard about this on socials as well. Uh, FN Competitive recently put out um, a, a very simple thing on social media, simple, a simple thing on, on X. March 31st, guess what? That, 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 that was it. Four, four words uh, with three question marks, which is a serious question. Three question marks, there's a yeah. lot of things. Guess what? Um, I'm going to ask you both here now, okay? What, what, just, just, let's just speculate on a, on a different level. Let's just, go, let's just go wild. Open your minds to crazy mm. outrageousness, okay? If I had to ask you both, March 31st, just very quickly, um, what, what would you love to see announced on March 31st? What, what do you think could be coming uh, to Fortnite? Um, I'll ask you first, uh, let's ask you first, Takata. What, what would you love to see happen uh, come that date? I got a theory, Adam. I go got on, a theory. go on, Look, I love a theory. I was thinking of doing a simple answer, but I'm going to make it more complex. I'm going to make it more complicated. 45 okay. days in between Major 1 and 2. 30 days in between Major 2 and 3. Some of the shortest time spans we've had in between majors, mm -hmm. counting from grand finals. There's quite a bit of space for some sort of a new competition, don't we think? Some sort of new event, tournament that could potentially happen. 
I think we're getting something new. Solos tournament, maybe? Squads? Trios? Who knows? Oh, wow. But I think there's something on top of the global championships that's going to get announced. Okay, I like I like that. I like mm. that. Uh, I love. Uh, yeah, that that would be, that would be awesome. That would be very very cool. I'm I'm, I'm a big fan of a LAN. Fan of a LAN. Love yeah. it. Um, I mean, mini. What what would what would your kind of assumption be that it might be if you had to really kind of just just have a shot in the dark at anything? Uh, well, I think I, I hope it's a mini minor icon skin, but I highly doubt <laughs> that's going to happen. Um, we'll have to wait and see. But uh, no, I, I realistically, I think it's I think realistically, it's 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 likely. If I had to, mm -hmm. if I had to guess, I think it is going to be potentially the location for the, uh, mm -hmm. the the global championships because that hasn't actually been announced yet. We know the globals is happening. We know that that is going to be going on, uh, and I don't I, I don't recall it's actually been announced where the day where, where it's actually going to be held. So uh, where that's going to be, I don't know. Mm -hmm. We don't know, and I'm sure everyone wants to know. Soon. So yeah, it might come. So and I, I've seen a lot of people on social saying you know they want it to be at their home country, of course. So I, I think the, the, the Fortnite competitive community is very much on the edge of their seat at the moment, waiting for that potential announcement. Maybe it could come with the announcement that Takata is sort of uh, proposing as well. Maybe another event on the side of it. Uh, I, I used to love watching the sort of like the Pro-Am stuff as well, which was sort of attached mm, to the yeah, old yeah, yeah, yeah. LAN events. That'd Maybe we really get cool. something like that. That would be great. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm all for it. Anything that's exciting, anything to look forward to, announcements, I'm, I'm, I'm here. Hey, you, like you, guys, uh, you, got, you guys, you guys will be hyped. I'm, like, I'm excited too. <laughs> I'm like, I, I don't know what it could be. Um, but um, yeah, it's all coming your way. March 31st, make sure you keep your, your ears and eyes open because we're going to get something. We're looking forward to seeing exactly what that is, uh, courtesy of FN Competitive. Right, speaking of competitive, I think it's time we put you two in a head-to-head. -head. Yeah, Ooh, let's go. Quiz time. Um, it's yeah. quiz time, baby. It's quiz time. Um, for you guys at home um, who have not been uh, uh, not been part of a drop to episode before, um, we like to have you know a, a quiz for our, our guests. And we want you guys to really encourage you as well at home to play along and have some fun with it too and see if you can get the questions correct here. Um, now, usually the way things work here, we ask each of our players two questions each, and then we have like, and they're multiple choice. And then we have a tiebreaker question at the end, which basically is, if it's a draw, we tend to do it anyway. If it's a draw, <laughs> um, it's a tiebreaker question, which is a case of the, the person who is the closest to it um, is the overall winner here. Now, a slight change this week, slight, ever so slight change, is each of our players, to Kartra Mini Miners, second questions are multiple choice, but their first questions are not multiple choice okay not my the first two yeah you know, nice because there, there, there's a few options available basically um so here's how it's going to work mini minor you are going to get the first question okay it's you okay and they bear in mind don't mess this up, mini don't mess minis this up. minis are confident colin when it comes yep. to quizzes yeah okay he's a confident colin. not general <laughs> quizzes by the way not not like history <laughs> not like art yeah. or or, yeah. or you know tree. cultural yeah. stuff <laughs> yeah. uh you know oh, Fortnite quizzes important. competitive quizzes yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, but, but yeah, when yeah, it exactly. comes to that, I'm undefeated, by the way. So for, for those that are watching for it now, home, please root for, for me. And if you're playing along, try and be undefeated as well. Try and start your journey here because we are going to be in this together. Okay, okay. I, throw long, my, but... I, throw, I, I go back to Takata to the first quiz I think you were part of, and it was very different. To, to, <laughs> yeah, it, was, it, was very, it went very differently. That was a long That's time ago. Things, we've moved on. To, we, we, we've grown Things have changed, then. Adam. Things have changed. Things have changed, man. I get it. I get it. All right. Okay. So uh, question one, Mini Minor. Here is your, uh, here's your okay. first question. Okay, here we go. Question one, what was the most common shotgun carried by game winners in the last solo cash cup final? What was the most common shotgun carried by game winners in the last solo cash cup final? Ooh, that's a difficult one. The most well, common shotgun is. carry. I mean, there's it's a one in three chance, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I mean, it literally when it comes is. Down to it. I, I don't think it'll be the, the, the hammer pump. I don't think it'll be that. I think that's kind of been sort of pushed aside. For me, it's between the Frenzy Auto and the Gatekeeper. Um, oh, I've seen a lot of people playing with the Gatekeeper. Uh, it seems to have gotten a lot of love. Um, but then again, winning a game. It's VRs. It's VRs. It's VRs. That's it. the thing. It's, it's Victory it. Royales. I'm going to go with, in solos, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say the Frenzy Auto Shotgun. Woo! Locking it in? Lo locking, locking it in. Answer. I'm locking it in. I, I, I might regret okay. that, but I'm locking it in. Okay. Out of curiosity, Takata, where would you have gone? Look, Frenzy's good. I respect that. But we're thinking of winners. We're thinking of confident players. Players that tend to take drop spots for items that could have a higher benefit. One of those drops is the Cerberus. 
medallion, which also comes with a Mythic Gatekeeper shotgun. So if I think these people are winning games, they're winning with that Mythic, but they're also winning with the standard versions. So I think I'd actually go Gatekeeper. Mm. Okay. You've given, you've given Mini food for thought there, but he's locked it in. He's locked in his answer. He's gone Can't from Benzi Auto. Um, okay, well, it definitely is not the hammer pump. Mm. Yeah. It's not that. The correct answer with 47% of uh the most Ooh, that's being carried by game winners in the last solo cash up oh. final is the gatekeeper oh, oh mini minor Ooh, that's a punch to the gut oh, I could have been my is. question you know we can not switch it around questions wrong you know, going on? but yeah with so, so the friend the frenzy auto is actually the third shotgun of the three that were 24 percent oh, really, really? pump 29 percent wow gatekeeper 47 percent okay uh, right, so Dang. no no score for me in the first round. However, Takata here has a chance to get ahead here. Redemption if he arc. Answers, if he the answers undefeated. this question correctly. Soon to be go. defeated. <laughs> he's, he's, he's getting a little bit ahead of himself here. I mean, we're literally, <laughs> celebrating it's, it's before he's first question. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, Look, Takata. Give me my moment, all right? <laughs> here we go. Okay, okay, here we go, Takata. Um, your question. What was the most contested boss POI in the most recent Solo Cash Cup? What was the most contested boss POI in the most recent solo cash cup? See, I want to think this is an easy answer, but at the same time, first time I loaded into the new season, I went directly Mount Olympus. I was like, yeah, that place is sick. You know, in the clouds, <laughs> big oh, statue, lightning bolts. Yep. It's cool. But if you're thinking in terms of competitive, most powerful medallion, Grim Gate, Cerberus, it's it's you know arguably the best medallion right now for competitive not really arguably it is the best medallion for competitive so i'm like do people are people making the correct decision i'm gonna hope they are so i'm gonna go with grimgate final answer okay final answer grimgate is locked in mini minor would your would you feel the same way was your question I I think if this was my question, I would definitely say the same answer. But to throw a little a little spanner in the works <laughs> for you, ball. maybe everyone's thinking everyone else is going to be landing there, so oh, they're contesting uh, the underworld yeah. or it one of the happen. others, right? So that's I, you true. know, just to Siphon play a little bit devil's advocate here, I'm going to say the underworld would be my answer, okay. but it wouldn't be, but it is. Okay, all right. Well, one of you is definitely correct. One of you's got it correct. Mm -hmm. I don't okay. like that. And actually, person... I don't like how Adam said that. Oh no, <laughs> the person, the person that has got it correct is. Takata, it's Grim oh, okay, Gate, baby. Okay, it's Grim okay. Gate. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, hey, the logic paid off, man. The logic paid not off. Bad, but, not bad. Not but bad. Mini, I liked you switching things up there. I liked you giving an alternative there. That's yeah, another POV. It was wrong, but it was interesting. Yeah, it was completely maybe. wrong. But I, yeah, but I, wrong. I respect it, my Fine. friend. I respect Thanks. it. Thanks, man. Okay, so Takata, going into uh, the second questions. Uh, Mini, you need to catch up here, buddy. Yeah, um, right, one these next the questions for each of you are multiple choice questions. Okay, for you guys at home as well, these are multiple choice. These next two questions, uh, Mini, how many PS Cups have there been, including this season, and counting Battle Royale and Zero Build separately? Okay, how many PS Cups have there been, including this season, and counting Battle Royale and Zero Build separately? The answers are 14, 19, or 24. Ooh. Oh, that's a tough one, isn't it? That's a, that that's is a that's real a, tough that's one. That's a tough that's one, actually. That's a that, tough one. That, that, that is a hard. That's, that's, that's a, that's, question that's a shot Choose the, the most <laughs> OP POI. Look, wait, you haven't that heard is... my multiple choice yet. It could that's be true, too. true, to be fair. Um, and I need to get this right, otherwise I'm, 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 I've lost. So it's a very, there's a lot riding on this question. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to think back, back to when they started them. I think it was Chapter 3, Season 1. I remember I actually got a PlayStation to play in them um, initially. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. It's been a good while. So what's that? Chapter three, season one, four seasons in chapter three. That's I mean, that's eight right there. Chapter four, there was a bunch as well. Uh again, four seasons. That's six. Hey, we got a timer here on uh how uh, best to answer. Maybe that. a little bit before. <laughs> what was, what were the what was the <laughs> choice again? Chop, chop, many. Are there 14, 19, or 24? A little bit of a 14, 19, 24. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm 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 gonna that's I'm gonna say five, huh? I'm gonna say fourteen. Final really? answer. I'm gonna say 14 because it's sure it's not 19 because it wouldn't be odd. I'll go 19. Yeah, it's probably 19. You would go 19. So, sure, it's not odd. Right, okay. I just don't want to do your answer. Are you locking in? Are you locking answer. in? 14? I'm gonna lock in 14. Yeah, I think 24 is too much. Okay. And yeah. Takata would have gone 19. I see. So the dark. actual uh, the actual answer, and I, I and I can't believe it. Oh, it's 24, isn't it? It's the an, no. The answer is not 24. 
The answer is 19. What? So Carl would have got it right. It's not 40. It's Every 19. Every single question. question. I'm for oh, no reason. I'm three oh, out basically God. right now. What? <laughs> Takata is just absolutely crushing this quiz oh, today. I love Maybe to they it. did it before zero Until build or something. I get my question. Oh, that's got to be what it was. The ones were before zero, I think. That's no, what it is. I would make it less, though. I would have made because you're counting. Still. Let's... <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> well, it's it's one zero. Hey, hey. Oh, Takata. I, oh, yeah. Takata. I mean, while, while, uh, while Mini just, like, you know, just drowns in his sorrows, I can see on the screen he's, he's, he's feeling it right now. Um, Takata, in the history of solo cash cup finals, there have been 10 wins with 35 eliminations or more. How many does Peterbot have? Okay, how many does Peterbot have? Is it so six, seven, or, or eight? Yeah, so in the history of solo cash cup finals, there have been 10 wins with 35 eliminations or more. Mm. How many of those does Peterbot have? Is it six, is it seven, or is it eight? Six, seven, or eight, 35 yeah. elim solo cash cup. Just what wins. first thing you you you, oh, you this won is, this, this is this is a lap of honor. Though. I mean this. I see many thinking as well. This is a pretty yeah. one and three. I mean they're all yeah, very yeah. impressive. Yeah, yeah, they're all very impressive. Has he really won eight out of the ten? I don't. I don't think it's ten. There's no way, right? Yeah, it's well. Hey, There's no. But I mean, if that's your guess, let me know. I'm about, I'm about you want to be my guess, six, Adam? I'm gonna go seven. No. I'm gonna go seven. Final answer. Mini. Top I would have gone six. I think I would have gone six. Do you know what? This is this is Takata's day because it is seven. Wow. He's answered every We're question back in business. correctly. We this are back. Mad. We okay, are okay. back. Wait. Right. Last uh, tiebreaker question here as well. Okay. Just just <laughs> yep. for fun, as we all love to play. If he gets this, that there, there's something. <sighs> There's something insane. <laughs> he, he he really is a god. He is a god. I mean, I mean that, that, he is a, he's a myth. Uh, okay, tiebreaker question. This is a fun one. How many bushes are there on the map? How many bushes are there on the map? 2,337. What? Okay. No, that's your answer. That's, uh, he came in. That's it. <laughs> uh, How many ooh, bushes? Let's one. be real here. How many bushes? How many bushes? Just, just yeah, yeah, take a take a. Are we including all the small and big bushes, or do we yeah, not all, know? Is it all, 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 all bushes? Guess. Okay, all bushes. <clears> okay. No, but but there's there's a lot of small bushes, but there's not as many big big ones where you can I'll make, fully hide. I'll it. make you know what I'm it. Talking about? I'll make it a little bit easier. It's less than five hundred. Okay, okay. It's less the big than bushes. 500. It's the big bushes then. The small ones don't count. Small what do you ones. think? I'm gonna ask you first, Mini, as you sadly lost today's quiz. Yes. What's what's your just, answer? Uh, yes. Um, ooh, I'm trying to think. I, I you can't. Play <laughs> I don't know how you can pick about this one. You gotta throw you know, a number. Oh, the last time I played, I saw about eight bushes. <laughs> and I played about five times this week. Uh, no, I'm I'm gonna say ah, uh, it's 234. 276. Okay. That. Do you know what's mad? <laughs> no way. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What? So you said two thirty? You, you, you said two thirty four, right? Yes. I said two seventy six. Okay. And you said two seventy six. That is, it is in between? absolutely cr this is crazy <laughs> one of you's 15 away one of you 16 away oh, oh my goodness <laughs> the answer is 259 that's crazy so that i Who think wins? i think you, you've won that wins. by no no i think you win no, oh, many, I, I think that? i won no. by, two, three, by, three, by what so, yeah so, so, two three four so oh no no two no, three four twenty four Oh, wait, yeah, you're no, right. You Takata wins. Okay. I thought Takata it was a lot wins. closer. Okay, to, to Takata. Hey, do you know what though? You both well picked done. an unbelievable answer. <laughs> yeah. I love that. My that math is just way off, but that is that's excellent. Uh, the answer is 259 bad. bushes wow. on the map there, and uh, GG's lads. That was that was excellent. I I thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, that was real fun. You guys did great, and hopefully you guys at home enjoyed that as well. Let us know how you did, uh, and uh, did you get all of them correct? I mean, Takata, what a day for you, my friend. What a day. What a day. Feeling good. Feeling good. You, you, you will have a statue. I was 0-1 before this. One I, one L, I one W. <laughs> I love I mean, it. I love I'm it. Feeling good. It's incredible scenes. Better on the day, I guess. Like, he, oh, like, oh, he, won every, he got every okay. single one correct. Like He won every single one. So what can I do, really? I mean, um, you, I let you, everyone you, down. 
You can sulk in, in the underworld there, Minnie, and to cart have a statue on Mount Olympus. I'll be on Mount yeah, Olympus. Gonna, yeah, yeah. We'll that'll be him right there. Um, yeah, <laughs> right. Uh, right, thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, before we uh, run out today, um, let's just talk about what's been going on in terms of creative, because this is an exciting time. Obviously, uh, creative mode um, is I mean, a UEFN in general. We had State of Unreal recently, the talk recently. Uh, they announced Battle Royale maps would start being made in UEFN itself in the future, which is incredible. Mm. Um, but some really cool stuff we saw as well. We saw um, FPS being introduced into uh fortnite uh, and m- m- you know making sure as well, as well this is exclusively creative mode this is creative mode uh there's um an fps uh as well as like there's lego creator maps and you can make i think full guys obstacle courses as well here i mean takata it just seems that there's a lot of opportunity here to have so much fun in that the creative community seems to be absolutely thrilled about this as well yeah i mean uefn has been thriving uh, ever since the the major changes and now even with additional opportunities for developers in the UEFN creative world is crazy. Being able to do first person experiences, being able to make use of the new physics that have been added, even doing, you know, more kind of mini game type experiences with Lego and, you know, the Fall Guys editions. There's just so much opportunity and, you know, opportunity is exactly what you need in that type of realm. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's right. fantastic. It's just absolutely like, you know, the more tools that UEFN creators can have and uh, the developers that, that, that are making these fantastic games already that are really fun to play. And I personally enjoy playing them, making them myself as well is, a, is an absolute blast. And giving those creators more tools to do more cool things will only spawn even more cool experiences to <laughs> inspire more people to do more cool things. And then it'll just keep getting better and better. And uh, I'm particularly excited about, you know, Battle Royale coming to UEFN as well. I know there was a little bit of a mixed reaction about that, but I think the framing that you have to think about it is that UEFN is becoming as good as Battle Royale in terms of the, the capabilities that you can have from that. So, you know, thinking about further ahead, hopefully, and by the looks of things, players and, and, and creators can actually create Battle Royale scale experiences within UEFN because Epic Games are doing that themselves. Fortnite's been made, <laughs> yeah. Battle Royale's been made on UEFN. So uh, it's just going to open a whole new world of opportunities. And I can't wait to get my hands on it personally, and particularly to play the experiences that people are making. It'll be yeah. fun. I mean, to, really to Carter, fun. Any, any favorites from you as well? Like 1v1s, box fights? What have you been kind of like, uh, like enjoying recently? Look, me and Jacob and, you know, casted the most recent Major 1 FNCS. Warmed up a bit on Forever Zone Wars, actually. Shout out mm. to that map. A lot of fun, especially a duo's version. But, um, you know, sometimes you can catch me on some tycoons every now and then, spending some time. I saw that little smirk mini, you know. You know, you oh, like that, mate. I mean, you, you gotta love it. You, gotta love it. You, see, you, you see the dollar signs going up in the tycoon. Some you know, you're able runs, to, uh, yeah. yeah, you're able to do it. And yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I, I love it. And it's, it's, it's nice that we have a, v- a big variety of, of experiences in, in UEFN. You're never bored, which is fantastic because you know sometimes you're uh, you're playing one particular game. You think, well, m- maybe I've played this for a little bit uh, uh, enough time now. Let's play something else. And there's another fantastic game just right there, ready for you. So uh, UEFN has just been a fantastic addition at all. It really has. And you know, make sure to go back. If you haven't seen it, State of Unreal was there. Make sure to watch it over again. Kind of remind yourselves what is coming your way. Uh, and you, we're all kind of we're getting really excited about it because I think that's the great thing about Fortnite is it continues to invite new players and, and you know, generate a lot of hype amongst the amongst the community already there as well. Um, which uh, you know, which is which is which is great for us because Fortnite is just go, goes above and beyond every single time. It keeps adding layer upon layer of fun, and we love to see it uh, in, uh, in 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 our world too. So um, yeah, make sure to check it out. It's all coming your way. Everything we discussed and tons tons more. Um, guys, this has been really fun. I've enjoyed I've enjoyed this immensely. We've uh, we've I mean the, the the quiz and all the things happening in Chapter Five, Season Two, and of course uh, you have too. Um, where I want to ask you both now as well as we wrap things up here. I want people to find you. You mentioned you're doing maps and all sorts. I'm sure we want to kind of keep tabs on exactly where you guys are. Um, kick us off here, Mini. Where can people find you online? Yeah, you can find me just uh, at Mini Minor YT on uh, socials. And you mentioned maps. I just released a new map called Movies Box. Uh, Movies Prop Hunt. I forgot the name of my own map. That's not great. Uh, <laughs> so to. don't search up. They're just Movies Prop uh, Prop Hunt. Yeah, make sure to check it out if you best want to. Um, ad. Love it. Well yes, done. Best ad. I've forgotten the name of my own map. There you go. <laughs> Love it, love oh, it, love it. Uh, Takata, have you forgotten any of yours, or are you, have you got yours? Uh, what, what are you working on? <laughs> uh, I've done one map already, which was posted in the previous season, but I'm currently working on a new one, so I'm not going to shout it out yet. I don't want to leak it until the announcement, but you can find me on all socials at Takata, so it's pretty simple, easy to go through, and then, yeah, keep an eye out for that announcement. 
I'm definitely keeping an eye out. I think this is great. And um, thank you guys for being part of the show today. It's been so much fun as well. Um, everything we've talked about, it's, it's all coming your way. I mean, Major 2 is on right on the horizon. We can see it right now. From up here on Mount Olympus, we can kind of see everything. But it's right there. It's coming close. Trust us here. Uh, thank you so much for being here on the, on the show with us uh, for the drop spot. We look forward to seeing you very, very soon again. Um, I'm going to ask you guys well, very quick before we go. Uh, Mini, Takata, um, soon... Can we get together? That we actually be together and play some Fortnite together? Because I think you're avoiding me. Is it true? I get the feeling you're avoiding me, Mini. Uh, yeah. Well, no, no, no. Of course not. No. Uh, it's a car. We still playing Geo tonight, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, we're, we like, should talk about that later, like, probably. Yeah. Oh, Mini, okay. every night, my 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 poor family has to hear your streams. I fall asleep to your streams. Some people have like you know the sounds of the jungle, <laughs> the waves. I just listen to Mini Miner <laughs> and his fabulous accent, crushing it. And I'm and I, that, that's kinds. how I. Do you know what I mean? So. Just for that you can get love. in the tree. In, I want to be in the inner. You're allowed in because of you just because you just, just showered me with love right there. So yes, thank you. Um, Takata, yes, don't, you're don't, allowed in. Takata, don't shake your head. Don't disagree with that. He's oh. invited me in now. I'm in the inner I circle. Have. Okay, I've I've breached it. I'm in. A... I'm in the bubble. He I'm forced his way in. That's what you um, think. It's okay. Look forward to see you guys. Another episode of the Drop Spot real soon. Till then, take care. We'll see you on the Battle Bus.